Big Ten play three scoreless draws and a 4 nothing defeat to Penn State. And I think Coach Daly would potentially welcome a scoreless draw all the way towards the six yard box and coming out for his first contact of the game. And to play it back to their goalkeeper where Northwestern can step forward. Here's a lovely ball over the top from OB to Claggett. Claggett in, crossing, late arrival. Oh, it's the left footed service headed away. But Volmar's in to clean it up. His cross is cleared. First Miller, know what they need to achieve as Glassberg flies down the sideline. And he's got options in front. Glassberg has it cut away at the last second. That's excellent defending from Fisher. Glassberg certainly went down, but at least I didn't see any contact. Oh, Nothing significant. That looks like a fantastic oh, challenge. His fourth set piece already. Jadahar makes a run around him. The ball goes into the middle instead. Prince was there. It's headed away. Well, he's been caught off his line. Been a little bit too eager to build in possession with the rest of the team. Fagger, advantage played. He's got ahead of steam built up. Fagger looking to work in a left-footed ball. Does so. Achora. Oh, my. Was going. Studs are up. It has to be a card, I think. But at the same time for Glassberg. The first year in that situation, it's tough. Header on target, and it's grabbed off the head of the superiority that these Wildcats establish when they have in position. It almost turns into a 3 2 5 with five. Oh, and here they come. It's Thaggard over the bar. Ambitious effort from Thaggard, and he kept it lower than I thought he would. Maybe would have benefited from taking an extra touch there. Can't help but feel that Chris Thaggard has to do a bit better. Has quite a bit of space. He's only 20 yards out. Yes, the ball's bouncing, but. This is his bread and butter, just a bit high. Playing it back towards the middle. Chris Thaggard on the ball, looking out for Glassberg, who has stayed on sides. His cross for Claggett. Can't get much on that header. Hired a shot, took a little deflection, but still got the goal that Michigan needed to really settle that game. Here's some pressure from the Wolverines. Duilio Herrera driving through the middle, and the pass just wasn't where it needed to be. Take away from leaving his team down a man. Here's Van Deventer driving in the middle. Through three defenders and McCammy with space now. He'll let one rip. Oh, he was looking for Weiss actually over the top. It's headed back in front. Glassberg turns and is well under that one. Promising for Northwestern in the buildup. Doesn't come to much. And now here is Paul's son to take off Glassberg. I'm just not sure why Colin McCammy doesn't go out wide here. Has, look at how much space Fritz Volmar has. Tyler Glassberg. Weiss creating in the middle of the field. Doesn't have many options in front. From long right. Oh my. Arena on the follow up. Oh my goodness. Justin Weiss was about four inches away from a master stroke in the Big Ten quarterfinal. The audacity to even think of it from Justin Weiss. And how close did he come? My goodness. That is a bombastic swing of his foot from Justin Weiss. Gets his head up, knows Isaiah Goldson is off his line. He's only six feet tall. This ball clanks across the crossbar. But as you First see, half here. An intriguing one to be sure. We had plenty of flow in the opening moments. We had chances for Northwestern at times. We had movement from Michigan at times. The score remains nil-nil at the break. Wildcats out shooting the Wolverines 8-1, but they have nothing to show for it, Matt. The Michigan only chance that, they, that the Wolverines had, as we said, was that Jason Buckner header. Everything has gone Northwestern's way. They're possessed. They're 45 minutes to play before we even think about it. And it's Northwestern ready to get it underway in the second half. The Wildcats now going south to north. Here come the Wolverines. They've got some additions as well. Well, Hasnawi laid it off there. Nicholas Cassidy, who finished the first half, is in the game to start the second, and he's on the ball to serve one in. Cassidy to the middle, and it takes a deflection. Off. To send in the throw, it will be Cassidy, again the sophomore. Headed up in the air and cleared initially by Van, by uh, Volmar, pardon me. From your depth as possible. When you get into these games, when they start dragging into overtime. Weiss to the middle, but Back. Primary targets in the middle is Richter. Center back hasn't seen a ton of time this year. Balls towards Richter. He walls a player off, and he's whistled for the foul. But yeah, Richter, uh, neither Claggett or Mayer on the field. So yeah, it's Richter. Not quite as on target, but McCamby flicks it on. Oh, how does that not go in for Northwest?
Sylvester back to the middle, tipped away and grabbed beautifully by Goldson. Initial mistake from Goldson, leaving space on the back post and somehow the Wildcats have not managed to capitalize. Goldson does a great job of recovery. Let's take another look. I mean, how in the world does this overhead touch get anywhere close to the net? Isaiah Goldson has to be on top of that. And for the Wildcats, any sort of touch turns that ball into the back of the net. I, I think that first bounce, it actually hit on the Wolverines again. It's Al-Hasnawi, dangerous man down the left side. Into the middle it comes, and stabbed away by McKamey in the end. The Wildcats do enough, but it was an opportunity for Michigan. Once again, coming through the middle, that time it was Joao Paulo Ramos, who we have here. A rare mistake for Nolan Miller. He was too casual with that ball, it seemed. And Weiss put enough pressure on to turn it into a set-piece opportunity. And I think there's just... Michigan coming forward. It's Duilio Herrera, cut off. Back on the ball, Herrera works in the left-footed cross, headed away by Richter. Vasquez late arriving. Here comes Fisher, deflected in front, loose, Wagoner! No flag, a goal for Michigan! The leader has done it, Alex Wagoner, his sixth goal on a deflected ball. Northwestern can't believe it. The Wolverines are 18 and a half minutes from a trip to Bloomington and the Big Ten semifinals. And this is all about putting yourself in the correct position to get on top of any deflections. Alex Wagoner is someone who scored 73 goals as a junior in high school. You see Matt Fisher lines up, it takes a good healthy deflection off Henri Richter, but credit to Alex Wagner for being where he needed to be. Deflected, loose, Arena off the post. Oh my, Arena had an opportunity fresh off the bench. Son. Oh, and it's a great defensive move from Nolan Miller to cut off any potential outlet for Nigel Prince. In the play here, which nobody seems to have noticed yet, is Herrera. Another look at that. Miller just did a phenomenal job of walling him off. So much credit has to be given to Fritz Volmar. He's limping a little bit as well. He went in really tough to that challenge. Here it away. Kajadahar. For Richter, gets the header to it, back to the middle. It's batted around in front. Kajadahar, oh, what a save! You gotta be kidding me! Isaiah Goldson tracks it down. Kajadahar looked like that was ticketed for the left corner of the net. How about a bit of skill from your goalkeeper? The extension, able to bring it down, not even punch it away, but to right into the midst of Goldson. With what Goldson showed on that save on Gajadar, I'm not sure if I was the Wildcats, I'd want to test him from deep right. Doesn't get all of it. But it comes out for Gajadar again, deflected and still safe, looking for a handball, and it's a penalty! A penalty awarded to Northwestern. It looked like, oh no, now they're saying the other way. It looked like the initial point was to the spot. Northwestern can't believe it. The appeals for a handball continue. And the clock has been stopped here. Northwestern, I think, looking for a review. They want to see it. The handball was called against Northwestern. The Wildcats can't believe it. Weiss is losing his mind. Let's take a look. Kajadahar's shots. That's it's a Michigan handball. It just is. It just An excellent challenge potentially from Nabaka. Wildcat faithful pleading for a whistle. Volmar pleading for a whistle. No help given from the center official. Matt, what'd you see? I saw a handball. And I think Russell Payne saw a handball as well. I mean, Northwestern. Yes, they haven't been clinical, but they will be absolutely furious with the way this game has played out. Nigel Prince and Isaiah Goldson having some words. This is over. Michigan advances to the semifinals. Northwestern missed their opportunities. Alex Wagoner did not miss his opportunity. Dialogue continues here as Michigan.